shot at this. I always remember this one being a difficult one to get. Ah, right. But um, if I can't do it, I'm just going to leave it. Go, go, go. Yep. Screwed it up. So the power up that you need, the energy tank is like right at the end of this corridor. And you've got to be really good with your space jump. But, you know what, I'm not that fussed one energy tank. It can wait. When I'm this close to the end of the game, one energy tank, I'm not going to lose sleep over. But what's that noise? really frustrating because it is pinpoint precision accuracy needed to hit that red button on his chest. If he moves his head down, it's you can't hit it. There we go. But in true Metroid fashion, you know what comes next. Self-destruct mechanism activated. Evacuate immediately. Oh boy. This is not good. Four minutes, well five minutes to get out of here. So we have less than five minutes of this playthrough left, folks. I hope you are ready for the finale. This is it. I've just got to get back there. Back off. I need room. Move! Move! 
Hang on, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I? Uh, through those doors. Damn, okay. These two space pirates, the most annoying in the game. Quick, get in the ship! Flee! Off we go, off we go, off we go, come on! Get out of my way! Samus just totally ran that guy down. Bye bye, space pirates! Mission accomplished! There you go, Kate. That is the entirety of the first Metroid. Hope you have enjoyed it. And everyone else who's joined as well, thank you very much. That has been a fun playthrough. We'll get through, just cover a little bit of the ending stuff uh, at the end of these credits. There's a nice little bit of extras on this Game Boy game. I said it's just a, I said it's just one of those games I can just quite easily pick up, and as you can see, it can be played in a matter of hours. Um, I really do enjoy Zero Mission. For anyone who's never played the Metroid games before, it's a nice little entry point to give you an idea of what to expect. But uh, yeah, I'll be um, leaving you. Obviously, this will be on my Twitch for the time being. Um, that's three hours, 40 minutes recording time. So I could probably split that down into several videos and uh, I'll be uploading it to YouTube for when it gets wiped off of Twitch. But yeah. Thank you very much for uh, joining along everyone on this, this has uh, been a good little game. If there's any games other than the Metroid games you guys would like to see me play on either Game Boy Advance or GameCube, um, give me a shout, I can also do some Switch games, and uh, basically any of the, ne the Nintendo stuff, if I've got it, I'll play it. Yeah, but Dante, knowing you, you were combing every square inch of this game looking for every tiny little secret. Um, probably why it took you so much longer to complete. <laughs> and I've played this game many times over and over again, so... Uh, um, Satoru Iwata! Can we... Uh, oh, that's the end of the credits. All rights including the copyrights of the game, scenario, and program reserved by Nintendo. Let's see how much of that I actually missed out. I'm, I'm thinking maybe a 60% completion time. But, uh, yeah, here's, here's our old mural again that we, we so witnessed. But what's this? In the corner, little scribbles. Little scribbles done by baby Samus of her life with the Chozo people. Oh, cute. What are we thinking? What percentage? Take a guess in the stream, folks. I'm betting on 62? 12%. Clear time. 2 hours 42. Oh wow, that's beaten my previous time. 63% and I said 62. Bang. Oh, I've played this game far too much. Clear time is now quicker than the previous playthrough, so yeah. See you next mission, folks. But the uh, let, let's check out some of those cool little extras that we said are on this. Yeah, I didn't pick up anywhere near as much stuff, Kate, to get a, an 80% rating as much as I'd have liked one. File C is corrupted, erasing File C. Well, clearly it didn't like that. So that entire playthrough is null and void. It's a good job. Don't know why that's corrupted. We'll have to find out. <laughs> oh. Well, it's a good job I said that I didn't uh, stop, because uh, that would have been 
mortifying. Options. So yeah, our um, originals, Metroid Fusion Gallery. So this is the gallery that you get for completing Metroid Fusion. Um, just really nice artwork. Samus in her fusion suit. These images play when you complete it at various percentages. So it's like the basic percent, like your middle. Yeah, Me Metroid Corruption. Metroid Data Corruption, more like. I don't know why. Um, this isn't a game that uses the game set. Maybe the game cart's not in the Game Boy Player clearly enough. I don't know. We'll have to check on that one. But I think all these ones then come closer if you beat the game on like 80%, 90%, 100% on Metroid Fusion. Um, getting some fancy Samus artwork. Now we start to get some flashback artwork as well. Little Samus! Ridley killing her parents. Little Samus being found by the Chozos. And Samus being trained by the Chozo in her mad athletic skills. We have Samus again in her athleticism. Growing up. Uh, yeah, okay, I think maybe next Saturday. I don't think I've got any plans, so I will probably uh, decide to give it a shot and burn through um, uh, Super Metroid, make a start on it. I just find this, this, this bit of artwork of Samus really weird. She's got proper jacked arms, you know, major henge. And there's the original fusion suit from Metroid Fusion, which I absolutely love. Um, I love the colour scheme in that suit. And, for some reason, pixel art of toys, which were made but never released outside of Japan, I don't believe. And there's our artwork. I still don't know, it seems to have corrupted File C. Um, and seems to remind me every time I come back to the main menu. Um, and I'm not going to play it because we've just played through the entire game. But just out of information, here you go. When you c uh, connect this uh, cartridge to the GameCube with Metroid Prime, you get the original Metroid. Which if you see where we started, here's where we have our tiny little Samus with her little blaster and our very first pickup flashbacks of our Morph Ball. I say we've reached, we've actually, there we go, got our morph ball. And there we go. So you can see the difference, um, folks, that this makes from playing it on the Game Boy Remaster, the Game Boy Advance Remaster, to the original NES version. Makes a huge difference. And there's no map here as well. If you want a map, you've got to, like I said, make note of it all. Uh, draw it out yourself, record where things were, or, hell, this again was before the days of the internet. And it's far more brutal because I'm going to die like straight away. But let's soft reset the game. Here's our emergency order exterminate all Metroid organisms on planet Zebus. And defeat the mechanical life form of Mother Brain. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, thank you very much for tuning in, everyone. I will be stopping the stream there. But it's been good, and I shall catch you next Saturday with more Metroid. Samus Saturdays, let's call it that, eh? Samus Saturdays. Catch you later, folks.